y'all welcome back to my channel it is me cheryl and i am here because i want to give y'all an update now y'all remember i did a video yes this video that you are looking at on the screen and it was telling y'all how i discovered how to do the bath and body works hack where you take another companies or cheaper companies like Airwake or Glade or Febreze you take their little wall plugs right swap them out no you continue to use your wallflowers but you can use them with Glade and I was showing y'all you know like Airwake Glade and um, Febreze I was showing y'all how you can continue to use your Bath and Body Works yet save money now the benefits of why you would want to keep using your bath and body works um plugins is because they're cuter right they cost a lot of money so if you spend all this money you want to keep using it but then to buy the refills it just adds up like think about it those with five for five for 25 if you don't have a 20 percent off coupon or if you don't have any promos that adds up okay and those things to me I don't know if they're cutting back or if they are I don't know what they're doing but them wallflowers y'all they are not lasting like they used to BC before COVID so let's go ahead and get into it I'm rambling if you're doing this with me this is like the second or third time that I have been doing this so it's gonna be very quick and very easy so grab your wallflowers and I even have an airwick one in here. Yeah, my airwick one ran out, so I'm gonna refill this too. And let me tell y'all the exciting news. This is the exciting news. So I was at Target today. Good old Target, Target, Target. <laughs> and I found these. Now I bought this expecting to pay $11.99 for this because it's the price on the sticker, on the tag. I went to the self-checkout and I scanned it, boop, right? It, it was like item not found. So I called the girl over and she does something and she keys in some stuff and then the price was $2.99. And I was like, so you mean to tell me I got this $11.99 five pack of Glade. Y'all probably will not be able to see this really good. You'll see it better. I got this for $2.99. Yeah. So, me being me, there were two more. I remember there were some more left on the shelf. There was two more left on the shelf. Let's go ahead and buy all of them. <laughs> so, now I have 15 Glade plugins. Now, when you do the math, I saved about, oh, 27, y'all. <laughs> 27. I saved $27. That's pretty dope. Think about it, if I was at Bath and Body Works, it'd have been 25 times 375 for 15. These are the receipts. Y'all see where it says 299 Glade? So I wasn't lying, 299. Okay. Fall night long. I like the name, so play on words. Fall night long. The youngest don't know that song. <laughs> Getting the Lionel Richie. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the craft table. See ya. All right, so as y'all can see, the haul. But these are my empties. These were the, the things I was telling y'all about on the last video. These are the cotton stem things. I know in the last video I said don't get these if you don't have to. They, to me, I like a strong, robust smell. So without this um it doesn't give as a strong aroma as you can think if it's an old stem in here like these see how old this is it it will not give off the best if you just put the the liquid in here the oil in here it's not going to give the best aroma so yeah i would highly suggest this <laughs> i mean it's still going to work without it it just doesn't smell as strong in my opinion so if you change the wick which i'm gonna show you how to do all of that in a second uh it's gonna give you the best smell and yeah i'm gonna take your bulb and bath and body works oh this thing is toe up honey. look at this all right first of all yeah this is gonna be a true authentic way for y'all to see this because it still has a nail in it. So that means I never changed this. This is this is still the bath and body work. So you're gonna take a knife. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna pry it open like this. Y'all be careful, it doesn't cut yourself. <laughs> and she's out. Take this thing out, you just pull it out. Pull that nail out. 
I don't even know why it's there. We don't even need to put it back in. Take this discard of old wick. The, these wicks that I have linked in the description box, they're a little long, as you can see. So you're just gonna have to kind of measure it like this. And then you're gonna cut it. And cut it right about there. Oops, okay, I'm gonna cut it right about here. All right, and then this part right here, I'm just gonna stick this in the, in the liquid because it's kind of, I don't want this, because this part's smooth. So I wanna do this part sticking out. So all you're gonna do this and just stick it in here. Y'all see what I'm doing? Stick it in here, just like that. And then you gotta stick it back in the bottle, but first you gotta refill it. So I gotta do the same for this. So same thing. Be careful, it might be easier with the Glade bottle than it was with the Bath and Body Works. All right, let me stab it first. So you stab it, get in that groove, lift it up a little bit. Just a little bit. See, it's already lifted up. And then, now I got it lifted up, I'm gonna wedge it in between. Yep, I feel it, just went in there. All right, it's in the groove, and then I just twist. Let me stab it, twist it first, you know, get it up a little bit. And then, you use, so using this, and you're using this. So I'm going to show you how you just open the top. Oh, well, these are a lot easier, by the way. Your wick is, they knew what it was. We can do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, and then do the same exact thing. Yep, look, it fits. We're good. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but anyway, look, it fits. Oh crap, I got a hole in my glue. We don't keep going now, because this video is almost over. Um, I'll just go ahead and stick it in a bottle, and then I will cut it until it hits the bottom. Alright, I'm going to lift it up a little bit. I don't want to sit in the bottom. And then I'm just going to cut. It really made sense to measure it like I did the second time. Okay, if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up, click that thumbs up button down there, and then also subscribe to the channel if you like lots of arts and crafts and activities to do with your kids. And I will see you back in my next regularly scheduled video. Toodles!